Well, it's my home for the night. It's about quarter after five on day one. Put 17 or 18 kilometers in today, ran some rapids. Did the drive up here, all smooth. The car shuttle was fine. And got this little island here all to myself. Nice and wide open. Got my system set up here. Got my sprawled out. Music playing. And yeah, pretty relaxing. Just on my second beer. Gonna start cooking soon. Got some steak, or baked potato. It's all gonna be good. Well, there goes my campsite. This is the start of day two. Nice foggy morning. Had quite a storm roll through last night around 2 a.m. Kept me up for a couple of hours. But then I woke to this. Everything's kind of damp, but it's nice and warm. So I'm around kilometer 48 right now, and I think I'll be aiming to get to Grand Chute, which I think is around 25 or 23. So it's going to be a bit of a long day. Hopefully it stays calm like this. Beautiful spot. Stretch along and see the swifts. Let the current do the work. Beautiful spot. Beautiful day. Stopping for a bit of a break at the campsite at about kilometer 32, 33, so about 15 kilometers from where I started this morning. And I've been on the water for almost exactly three hours, so making decent time, about five kilometers an hour. Somebody built some stairs here, which is nice. Let's see what this campsite looks like. Oh, that's a very nice campsite, actually. Nice, big, and open. And pads all over the place. This would be great for a big group. Yeah, not bad. So that's the first time I've gotten out of the canoe today. Three hours in the canoe. I'm a bit stiff. So I'm gonna walk around a bit and get back into it. So I'm just gonna go through how I have the canoe rigged up. So uh, small airbag, of course, painter, and then a large canoe pack is in the front. Um, so that's a 115 liter pack, and it fits in there pretty well. I also put um, my spare paddles in here, as well as a portage yoke. So I kind of tried to put as much in the front as I could, and this seems to be what, what it's taken to trim the boat properly. Uh, map, throw rope, baler. And in the back, I've got my food barrel, um, and I got them, the pack in the front and the barrel here lashed in, as you can see. And self-rescue system on the back, which is just a throw bag that's uh, looped on there with shock cord and it's tied to the stern. So if I swim, I grab that blue loop and swim to shore and hopefully I get there before the rope runs out. And that's it. It's working pretty well. This is near the end of Grand Chute. So I did the portage, and then I came back up the cart path trail, which is regular trail down, but I check out the campsites. This isn't actually a campsite marked on the map, but I'm just by myself, I'll be able to find enough space here. But this is a beautiful beach. It's like a little bit of a pool here, some deep water. I can go swimming. The sun's coming out. Uh, this is my home for this evening. All on my own. I may set up my tent over here. I'll have to clear up some stuff, but there's a flat spot on the rock there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put a tarp, but it's been tough. Hard portage. It's got to be over 30 degrees right now, and I'm sweating my brains out.
So it was looking like it was going to rain. So I set up a tarp. And of course, as per the usual laws of canoeing or camping, got nothing but blue skies right now. Which is good. I'm happy it's not going to rain. But it's not a lot of level ground around here. I ended up with this wonky tarp right on the Portage Trail with a sort of kind of flat spot in the middle. But I set it up high enough so that if anybody decides to come through this goat track of a trail, they'll be able to get under it pretty easy. Unless they're carrying a canoe, then they're fucked. But it's five o'clock, hopefully that doesn't happen. Cut up one log for firewood and I'm sweating my brains out. It is humid. Nice place though. This is my home. Oh no, it's raining. And thundering and lightning. It's uh, a good one. I'm going to get back to sleep here. Alright, this is the last campsite of the trip. We tend to take this campsite, I think, every time I paddle this river, use this campsite. It's about 8 kilometers from the end of the river. It's a nice fire pit. It's a tarp. It's suitably high. I think it would qualify as a Percy tarp. I can stand there, wave my arms up in the air without hitting anything. Some nice tent pads. They'll be set up over there. A little bit of sun and uh, everything went away wet this morning so hopefully this will dry off in the next little while. The weather's been funny. It has been overcast and foggy and or foggy every day until at least noon. Uh, and then it clears off, but I don't know. We've also had thunderstorms every evening, so at least it's warm. <laughs>